finally, uh, last but definitely not least, um, is our wonderful awardee from the Western region, um, coming all the way from Alaska, uh, Heidi Leib Williams. I hope I pronounced your, your name correctly. Um, she is currently uh, the chair of Alaska's Governor's Council for Disabilities and Special Education and a GCDSE Executive Committee. Um, that's in addition to many other roles that she has filled um, in making a change and a difference in uh, the government, the laws in, uh, in Alaska. Uh, she has been a lifelong advocate for individuals with disabilities, especially working to empower other self-advocates uh, with autism. Uh, she is currently involved in helping change laws in Alaska concerning people with disabilities, um, bringing her important lived experience, both as an individual with disabilities and as a parent of children with disabilities. As an advocate, she encourages others to be exactly who they are and growing to who they can become, offering their gifts and talents to share with others. And she's done that in many different roles, not only in Alaska, but also in our nation's capital. And again, you can read the full bio. There's a lot there, it's very rich uh, when we post them on the website. So uh, first, before we hear from her directly, let's uh, hear from the one who nominated her. And that would be uh, Dr. Linda Nishikawa. She is our WFWP Western Regional Coordinator. So uh, Dr. Nishikawa, please tell us a little bit more uh, about Heidi and why you nominated her. Go ahead, unmute yourself. Thank you very much and greetings to each and every one of you. It is an honor to be here and even more and more wonderful is to put forth the name of Heidi Lib Williams for the Her Story Award, who is so deserving of this award in more ways than 100. <laughs> she is a woman with disabilities who has overcome many, many barriers. Her passion is to empower others. She's a strong advocate in education, not only as a teacher, but as an organizer, administrator, and developer. She has developed many resources for disabilities, not only on the local level, but the national level and even and even I think internationally she'll be going next month uh, to actually work in the national level from Alaska she'll be traveling to Washington DC to work in that capacity in the in the in the nation's level she leads through example her direct quote is leaders champion opportunities to help others including building uh, new leaders and I feel like she throughout her life she has lived that way she has not only empowered other people but actually given them the resources to even be more than who they are she's she's quite a phenomenal person she is an example of courage leadership compassion and commitment she lives for the sake of others and lives by the logic of love which is very much apropos to Women's Federation for World Peace and Global Women Peace Network, which she joined. And I'm so grateful that she will be part of this international uh, strong women, incredible, powerful women in the world working together. You think you wouldn't, I wouldn't meet anybody else who I, because there's so many people in my life who have inspired me my grandmother and my mother, but many incredible people in my, in my journey. But actually Heidi has, has um, come across my path and has really shaken up even more, so much inspiration inside of me. She is a woman everyone is blessed to know and work with. And even more importantly, to know as a dear friend, I'm so grateful to nominate you, Heidi. Congratulations on the Her Story Award from Women's Federation for World Peace. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Nishikawa, for sharing a little bit more about your personal inspiration uh, since you've uh, known her a little longer than the rest of us. 
But let's uh, bring up the award and bring up our, our president to tweet the award and read the inscription. Uh, Heidi, it's my honor to give you the Her Story Award of the Women's Federation for World Peace USA, hereby recognizing you, Heidi Lee Williams, on this day, February 26, 2022. It's an honor of your exemplary commitment to being an advocate and voice for those with disabilities, encouraging others to use their unique gifts and talents to achieve their dreams. We applaud you and your work to inspire many in Alaska and nationwide to build confidence and self-esteem. Congratulations. The power and the floor is yours. Thank you. <clears throat> I am grateful, humbled, and still shocked that the world-changing organization such as the Women's Federation for World Peace would choose me to receive a prestigious award of this magnitude amongst amazing women worldwide who dedicate their gifts and talents to uniting people together. Thank you to everyone involved in making today's celebration possible. God deserves the glory for what he has done in my life lighting the way for others to see a testimony of what he can do. He establishes the pathways of opportunity for me to walk through to make a difference. His plan is bigger than any dreams or goals I could have ever imagined. My life is comprised of many people that deserve recognition and a gold medal. My parents, brothers, sisters, children, grandchildren, extended family, and yet others I'm blessed to call family, friends, and mentors. I must dedicate this honor to everyone whose hard work, patience, and dedication made it possible for me to get this far to fulfill unimaginable possibilities and teach me that those light bulb explosions in my brain can only further add to my abilities. Thank you, Eugene Harnett, House of Representative Ken McCarty's legislative aide for sharing my story for serving those with disabilities. This led to the meeting Dr. Linda Nishikawa, the Western Regional Director, who felt I was a nominee for this award and could stand alongside such honorable women. Thank you, Governor Mike Dunleavy and Commissioner Adam Crum for allowing me to share my passion. Thank you to everyone I've served with on the State of Alaska Governor's Council for Disabilities and Special Education, including a few I must mention because of their involvement with this distinguished event. Miranda Walso, Executive Director and Jackie Kim, Business Services Project Manager, lifting me up even through challenging situations. Corey Gilmore, one of God's biggest blessings, believed from the beginning I could shine and continue my testimony. With gained confidence, I have shared that I will stand on the U.S. Capitol steps and deliver my We Have a Dream for People with Disabilities speech that will forever allow the ideas of people with disabilities to become a reality for future generations. I invite the President and Congress to come together to do what's right for all Americans and set an example for the whole world to follow. No one overcomes a quest without a challenge. Growing up, I struggled to fit in trying to be like others, comparing myself, and feeling rejected because I was different. I always had difficulty keeping a job and was told they knew I was doing my best, but my best would never amount to being good enough. Discovering my children and some immediate family members were on the autism spectrum helped me to learn more about my diagnoses. Some people assumed I couldn't be taught or do certain things because of being functionally deaf, hard of hearing, along with multiple other disabilities. I had to change my thinking. I had to learn to embrace autism. God created me like this, to be born, to stand out, to make a difference, and not be ashamed of who I am. I love being able to share my fixations on special interests. I was told I talked too much, but it turns out I actually share knowledge. 
I struggle with failure, but strive to overcome. I've learned to advocate for support and understand it's okay to reach out and ask for help. We all need each other in this world. With assistance and incredible mentors, I started my own business called Puzzled with Purpose, Autistically Inspired Creations. In order for me to help others discover their passions, talents, and build confidence. In order to do that, Jesus had to help me develop and find mine. My business started small and has now developed into a full-scale craft fair with homemade items at fairs, festivals, markets, art shows, conferences, and all other kinds of events. These autistically inspired creations support disabilities of all kinds, autism, cerebral palsy, paralysis, Down syndrome, intellectual and developmental delays, plus many more. I help them to see how valuable their abilities are and just as effective as those without disabilities. It is a gift to see them filled with hope, learn to face hurdles and persevere no matter how long it takes and witness their success. People with disabilities need to know they can find their passion in life, create their own income, own businesses, be entrepreneurs, become national advocates and motivational speakers. I have faced many major health and personal issues, including my current breast cancer journey and spinal cord injuries, multiple surgeries, thyroid cancer, partial paralysis, domestic violence, rape, financial hardships, and more. Reality is it is okay to not be okay sometimes. Through it all, I've learned doing my best doesn't mean pushing myself until I break, but that being kind to myself allows me to give the best version of me to others. Despite my flaws, I'm determined even through heartbreaking moments to shine through and true because I won't let challenges stop me. I am a Christ-loving warrior that will keep on fighting until the Lord takes me home. Because of the amazing people who have left handprints on my life, I pray I can leave a thumbprint legacy of God's love. Obstacles faced, barriers broke, opportunities abound, and lessons learned to empower, give hope, and be a testimony to whoever needs to hear it. When someone tells you you can't or it's impossible, don't underestimate the power of adding the word yet. Your story can give someone else the ability to rise above. I've worked hard on my journey to even be considered for this type of award. And thank you for this honored treasure that I will forever hold dear to my heart. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Heidi. I, I think I speak for everyone where we say, wow, we're so grateful for you sharing uh, your beautiful story. I know there's a lot more, um, but I, I just love your story of, you know, maybe first trying to be like everyone else, but then realizing you are your own unique, uh, uh, divinely inspired uh, individual and uh, how you can use your your abilities to bring value and add value to other people's lives. And uh, I think we can all uh, resonate with that message that uh, even if we say, I can't, we just have to put yet. You can't yet. I can't do it. Not yet. But there is so much possibility. Um, I just want to, yeah, encourage everyone, please write your thank yous and congratulations to Heidi um, and to all of our Her Story awardees. Um, for sharing their beautiful and moving uh, testimonies and lessons they gained um, from their life journey so far. And we're, we, uh, at Women's Federation, we're a network of women striving to live by the logic of love and compassion and bring peace in our communities. So we're, we're happy to welcome all of you to this growing network. Um, and I just uh, want to note that uh, what I heard from all the awardees was the, the deep presence of God in each of their lives. So, we, yeah, we want, really want to acknowledge, the, you know, the importance of um, that, that spiritual aspect and connecting to our creator and how 
Uh, God is guiding each person individually and uniquely. So um, to give a final word of congratulations, don't leave yet. We want to take a, a group photo, especially with all of our awardees and nominators, but we want to make, uh, to, you know, put a top a bow on everything and wrap uh, a congratulations to all five awardees. Um, President Sally, you would like to give uh, a final comment. Yes, uh, I'm deeply moved. I'm still in the emotions that I felt from each and every one of you. Thank you for sharing those, for opening your heart. In my book, you are the avant-garde, the leaders of the heart of a whole new world. I think our God wants to see. And you have paid the price. You have won the, won the victories. And now you can be the, the champions to champion this world we're calling the world of heart and the world of peace. And I, I want to thank you for sharing these priceless, priceless lessons that we don't hear anywhere else. We should have charged for this, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if you can even pay for this. This is paid for blood money. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're investing here, giving us this precious knowledge. And so I just want to kind of giving you a calling, a new calling, if I could. I give you a new calling to go forth as the new ambassadors of heart and peace to bring the ultimate change in this world from the, from the darkness into the light because you are the light bearers, you are the healers because healed people heal other people, right? So you have gone through the hell, really, all of you, and you have overcome it. So now you can bring everybody else out of hell. <laughs> and uh, it was really interesting as also Katarina mentioned, you know, we didn't really choose and select you because we knew you had, you had such deep faith. It was the people who chose you. <laughs> and it, it, is, it shows, uh, you know, to all of us that with God, anything is possible. And you found the God within, which many people don't know about, that strength, that inner strength that is within you, that is already there, you know, because we're all made in the image of the divine creator, the divine feminine image of the creator, I might ask. And so there is the value already given but we didn't see it. We didn't grow up that way. So you found it, you found it, and you can now use it and empower other women and men. And I want to welcome the men on this call who joined because we are embracing our brothers, our men, our husbands, and we want to work together, really work together in the Women's Federation, in whatever federation of the heart and this network of the heart to bring God's presence and God's joy and hope to everyone. So thank you, thank you, and congratulations again for sharing your life stories with us. God bless. Thank you.